what we've got going on here tonight at Silver Snail for the Captain Canuck launch. We have the writer and the artist of the book, Kelman Abdusoski, is here. And Marcus Toe is also here. And of course, to um, stick with the Canadian theme and with Captain Canuck, we have a special drink for today, the Captain Canuck Latte. And we're giving you out, you know, maple cookies and maple donuts. And, you know, it's all Canada all the time here at the Snail. <laughs> Captain Canuck will be making an appearance himself here tonight, absolutely. Since, you know, we're throwing kind of a party for him, he should show up. I mean, otherwise it'd be rude. That's not very Canadian at all. <laughs> Captain Canuck, awesome. I can't, I am so happy to be here and part of it. It's pretty awesome. I'm a really big fan of the Kalman and uh redesign of the costume and of the new Captain Canuck series. Kalman's a friend of mine, he said, hey, you know, I know you were a fan of Captain Canuck. This is some redesigns I'm doing. And I went, wow, that's really cool. Can't wait for a comic. Can't wait for everything that's going to happen. And then the guys who had the rights, um, Captain Canuck Inc. with Fatty Akeem and Paul Gardner and the guys, they said, hey, George, would you like to come on and do the comic book with us? And I'm there, oh my god, yes. So, you know, I'm not always as excited about a <laughs> reboot as I am about Captain Canuck, but being a part of it was a really, really big deal to me. Um, it's cool to have a Canadian superhero, and it's all Canadian content. Every single piece of everything in that book is Canadian. He's a bit too good, to be honest, and he, he's, I mean, he's trying to be a nice guy all the time. Um, so not really interested in that, to be honest. However, this Mr. Gold character, yeah. he's mint. This guy is mint. This is, this is what it's all about. He should be on the front. He was created in 1975 by Richard Conley and Ron Leishman. Um, but it is 1975, so you, you, things are a little simpler. He was a Boy Scout leader, he got abducted by aliens, he came back with superpowers, joined the RCMP, called himself Captain Canuck. And Captain Canuck's superpowers back then where he had twice the strength of a man. <laughs> That's all that he had. And of course, uh, he was protecting Canada and, you know, from alien threats and from threats at home. But the new Canuck is kind of kicked up. He's ramped up a little bit. He has uh, stun tonfas, stun guns. It's all non-lethal because, you know, we are Canadian. Um, uh, and he has a power suit and he has a force field. So it's tech-based, but his strength and endurance and agility and everything is uh, ramped up. He's kind of a cross between Iron Man and Captain America when it comes to powers. I had such fun with the web series, dragging friends to watch it on my laptop. Once I knew the comic, I saw the comic from last year for the Canada Day issue, I was very happy to find out there'd be ongoing adventures. Uh, and with all the names attached to it, uh, you know, it was kind of a who's who of Canadian comic book creators right now, so I thought it would be really exciting to see all that kind of stuff, like, back in action and being revitalized, so that's why I'm really excited to read it. It's a big moment, and I think it's a good it's a good thing for Canadian comics. I think there's a generation of comic artists who will see this, much the way everyone fondly remembers Captain Canuck number one from 1975, and people are going to go, that's allowed? We can do this here? We don't have to go to New York or L.A.? There seems to be something in collective consciousness of Canadians that when they say, hey, do you remember Captain Canuck? They go, whoa, wait, yeah, I do. Wait a minute, I used to get those at Kmart's or, or Towers. So, you know, to pull them into the new Captain Canuck and say, well, check out this new guy and this new thing, and it's all Canadian. People have been responding really, really great to it. 